Trinity B1 ISC1 Four Skills Test CELT Secure English Language Tests B1 English Test ISC1 Skilled Worker Health and Care Worker Scale-Up Worker Student Visas All right. Let's do it. This is Trinity College London, ISC1B1. My name is Angelina. I am your interlocutor today for your speaking and listening test. What's your full name? My name is Ashnav Jodhkot. What's your topic's title for today? So my topic is uh, about hobbies. What are your four topic points? Is my four topic points is meeting friends, housework, watching TV, and cooking. What kind of TV programs do you like to watch? So mostly I just uh, always watching uh, Punjabi music uh, and uh, uh, one of my favorite show is Tark Mehta Ka Ulta Chashma. Before marriage, I always watch uh, this uh, serial with my grandfather because uh, this serial is also me and my grandfather's favorite serial. So that's why I always watch this one serial on TV. Oh, okay. Uh, and how much time do you spend while watching TV? Mostly one hour I was spending on TV uh, because I... Uh, I'm not interested to too much uh, watch TV. So mostly uh, this serial always on a half hour on the TV is eight uh, in the night, 8.30 to nine. So me and my grandfather always uh, just half hour to watch this serial. All right, okay. Um, could you please tell me about your favorite house chore or house work that you like to do? So one of my favorite housework is cooking food for my family. So I always do another things like cleaning, cleaning, mopping, and washing clothes. So I make a different type, I make some food for my family. So I feel very happy to make a, a very delicious food for my family. So this is my favorite work for house. Okay, could you tell me about a special occasion when you cooked something new for your family? So uh, there are many uh, festivals like Diwali, Holi, Besaki, and all are very uh, precious uh, festival in our Punjabi culture. So Diwali is the most important. So we, uh, me and my family always get to, to make sweets together, like samosa and some sweets uh, to make by hand because we don't, because my family don't like outside uh, sweets. So mostly we always make every sweets in our home, homemade. All right, all right. So how do you get information about recipes? All right. So uh, I always like to make samosa. So uh, we always like a, a self-raising flour. Uh, so we add some boiled uh, potatoes, boiled peas and sweet corns in add uh, in add one. So I pretty, will fry on oil. Pretty, pretty, yeah, pretty. Yeah. My question is, yeah. how do you get information about new recipes? How? How do you get information from internet, from YouTube, from a friend, from your family, from your mother? How do you get information? All right. So firstly, I always uh, uh, told about uh, my recipe. So it's a very simple recipe. That's why I talk about my, uh, that's why I talk about this one. So I always make uh, many types of sweets. Uh, yeah. Many yeah. types of uh, sweets. So uh, first of all, I like uh, sugar sweets and the most of the uh, samosa. So most uh, this is the simple way to uh, to cook uh, uh, to your uh, is a simple recipe about the samosa. Uh, that, that's it. So first, that's it. That's it. That's yeah. it. I'm not asking you how something is cooked. How do you get information about something? There are different resources, either cookery books, cooking shows, 
TV programs or getting information from your mother. How do you get information about cooking new recipes? Oh. That's it. All right. Simple. All right. Simple. Oh, yeah, 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 yes. All right. Answer so, it uh, once again, please, because cooking is your topic. Tell me again, how do you get information about cooking? So I always uh, cooking start uh, in my childhood age. So mostly I always make uh, many sweets and some. Uh, so always my mom always teach to how to make sweets in uh, in your at your home. So that's why is uh, my mother is the best cook. So I always uh, to learn about my mom's to how to make another to make delicious sweets and another things. So is this mm -hmm. right? That's right. That's good. Thank you. Thank you. My next question to you is, what do you do when you meet your friends? So uh, after this, after the school, uh, there's a lots of time I have never met my friends. Uh, so uh, I have a no lot of friends, just one friend, uh, just one of my best friend at the school time. And his name is Gagandeep. So after marriage, we we meet just one time and the market. So we meet together. Uh, so we are so first of all we go in the cafe. Uh, so we are always uh, talk about other in those family about our uh, career. So what we are doing to another things. So uh, talk about our families, our our career. So, and many more I was uh, to remember our school days, what we are doing uh, in school days. So that's why all things. Thank you. Thank you so much. This is the end of the discussion round. Now we're going, going to have just a two minutes conversation. What just a two minutes conversation. Uh, I would want to, you to talk to me about uh, Share an experience when you felt excited. When was it and what happened? So, uh, uh, can you please tell me about uh, again about your question, please? Yes. I Share can... an experience when you felt excited. When was it and what happened? All right. So, there are a lot of things that are, are always exciting. So first of all, uh, my, my cousin, sister, and brother, we are always live together before marriage. But uh, before, after my marriage, uh, three months, uh, he got on a v, uh, getting on visa of Canada. So I feel so excited and I always nervous because we can't live, to, uh, live uh, we always live together. We can't separate anytime because me and my sister uh, always talking about uh, talking each others. So I always uh, playing, playing always well. Uh, we can eat together, we can sleep together. We always sharing all about things. So we can all talk about, see, but after he getting on Canada visa, she gone Cal uh, on Canada. So we can't talk properly. So once in a month, uh, I always call my sister and talk about our families and our career. So that's one. So most important, exciting thing. So I'm very happy to my sister got the Canada visa. So I always uh, trying to my best to uh, my sister to uh, get better career in our life. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, um, uh, could you please tell me that uh, why do you still remember that day? Uh, the still remember thing. Why do you still remember that day? Why? I always remember these days because I love my sister very much because uh, we can't live uh, because we live uh, we love to each other so my sister can't live without me and I always so uh, sometime I always remember these days so these days very happiest day in my life because all my family's members are very happy because my sister got a, a future job 
in a, in Canada because her dream to go Canada and uh, stand our stand on our legs. So this is the best exciting thing, and I, I always remember these things. Every mm-hmm. day I always I every day I remember these things. Mm-hmm. All right, all right, all right. Mm-hmm. Now, could you ask me two questions about the happiest day in my life or the day when I felt excited? No. So, could you please tell me about most exciting day in your life, and why is uh, why is your exciting things? Uh, you uh, uh, talk. Uh, tell me about your most exciting thing, so you remember every time. I think the most exciting day for me was when I got my cat and I think uh, I felt very happy and I was ready to take care of my cat. All right. So is it fun? All right. So, uh, uh, so uh, what is your most important, exciting thing that you remember every day, every uh, every minute mm, well that's hard because uh, I really can't but I feel excited every time when I drive because I bought a new car recently so when I drive I feel very excited I feel happy about it okay this is something nice right thank you thank you so right. much passed with a distinction congratulations but beautiful if you will not understand the question there will be a problem. Yeah. Listen to the examiner carefully. And it's nice right. to ask the examiner, what did you say? Could you repeat yourself? Okay. Because okay. how do you get information? When, where, who, what? All these things, just pay mm. attention. Fluency is good. Pronunciation is good. There's nothing to be worried about. But understanding the question is important. Yes, ma'am. Okay, pretty. I don't know how many tests have you practiced from the official website, but you can. I'll ask you that which one would you like to practice from here? Uh, have you ever heard a recording about squirrels? Jyoti. Yes, ma'am. Have you ever heard a recording about squirrels? Have you ever? No, ma'am. Okay, I'm going to play a recording about squirrels for you. And do you know what is it? A squirrel? No? Can you please tell me about this one? No, no ma'am. Well, this is something we see in Punjab all the time. I'll, I'll search up for you. Uh, how do you spell it? How do we cool. say in Punjabi, sir? Squirrel? This is called a squirrel. This is a squirrel. What do, we right. call it? Okay. what do we call okay. it in Punjabi? I don't know. All right. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Oh, hmm? Love, love oh, I'm sure you, you know. Punjabi. What is it? It's my Kato. Kato? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Oh, very nice also new so let's start now uh, okay beautiful i'm going to play a recording about squirrels for you all right okay. you will listen to the recording yeah. twice and then you will tell me in your uh, apologies then i will ask you six questions about the recording all right isc one task one today I'm going to tell you about a small wild animal called the squirrel. Now, the first thing that I would like to tell you is that squirrels usually make their homes in very high places. Amazingly, baby squirrels are only two centimeters long when they are born. How about food? Well, young squirrels go out looking for food in the daytime. These young squirrels usually come back to their home at night time because they feel safe there. That seems to make sense. We know that squirrels are very intelligent animals because they hide food under the ground for the winter. Now then, let's see. What else can I tell you? 
The squirrel's front teeth never stop growing all their life. Now it's time to have a look at the life of another interesting animal. Let's look at. Now listen again. Today I'm going to tell you about a small wild animal called the squirrel. Now the first thing that I would like to tell you is that squirrels usually make their homes in very high places. Amazingly, baby squirrels are only two centimeters long when they are born. How about food? Well, young squirrels go out looking for food in the daytime. These young squirrels usually come back to their home at night time because they feel safe there. That seems to make sense. We know that squirrels are very intelligent animals because they hide food under the ground for the winter. Now then, let's see. What else can I tell you? The squirrel's front teeth never stop growing all their life. Now it's time to have a look at the life of another interesting animal. Let's look at. Okay, now could you please answer some of my questions about squirrels? Ready? All right. Yep. Could you tell me where do squirrels make their homes? Because they usually uh, make the home in the high place, on the highest okay. place. Few words. Correct. Correct. Okay. How big are baby squirrels at birth? Uh, a yeah, baby born is a uh, long, almost two centimeter long when they're born. That is correct. What do young squirrels do in the daytime? Because uh, they collect the food on the daytimes, and yeah, collect the food on the daytimes. That is correct. Okay, why do young squirrels return home at the night time? Uh, they are coming back in the night time because they are the safe, because they feel safe and the uh, because they come back home in the night because they feel safe. That is correct. How do we know that squirrels are intelligent? Uh, because uh, we are an intelligent person, because they are... So, I, uh, I can't properly uh, listen for these ones. It's intelligent amount uh, animals. Because they I hide listen. their food underground for the winter, that's why. Okay, last question, oh, right. beautiful. Mm -hmm. yeah. What is special about squirrels' front teeth? Because they never stop growing, so it's the main thing, that's one. Congratulations. Congratulations, you passed with a distinction. In the right now, Jyoti. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Okay, pretty. Now, you are not allowed to take any notes. No notes. I will play a recording right. about an unusual job. You will listen to it and tell me in few words what is this recording about, Jyoti. Few words, beautiful. Not everything, yeah. just one to two lines. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, no. This, uh, no. Uh, unusual job. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now listen, listen, please, and tell me in few words what is this recording about. ISC 1, oh. task 2. Today, we're going to talk about the job of driving a truck. Only 10% of Britain's truck drivers are women. Maybe this isn't surprising. Transport companies want to employ more women as they don't have enough drivers. So what is it like for a woman truck driver on the road? Let me tell you about Mary Jones. Mary is 22 years old and she was a hairdresser. But now, she delivers food to supermarkets. She sometimes works for up to 14 hours a day. Despite this, Mary prefers driving to hairdressing. This is because she likes travelling. For her, the main problem is that she misses her family on long trips. To become a truck driver, you have to be over 18. And, of course, you need to have a driving license. Now, let's talk to Mary about her job.
Yes, could you please tell me in few words what is this recording about? So I think this was talk, uh, talk about driving in truck because 10% of the uh, people were driving in truck. So it's by talk about Mary. Uh, so I listened not properly. So it's Mary Cam. I don't know about his name. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's enough. One line is enough. This is about the female driver, right? Or female uh, driver. Yeah. 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 That's fine. That's okay. Um, yeah. Now I'm going to repeat this recording. This time you're allowed to take notes, beautiful. You can take notes. You will tell me six right. facts about the recording. Let's listen again. All right. SC1, task two. Today, we're going to talk about the job of driving a truck. Only 10% of Britain's truck drivers are women. Maybe this isn't surprising. Transport companies want to employ more women as they don't have enough drivers. So what is it like for a woman truck driver on the road? Let me tell you about Mary Jones. Mary is 22 years old and she was a hairdresser. But now she delivers food to supermarkets. She sometimes works for up to 14 hours a day. Despite this, Mary prefers driving to hairdressing. This is because she likes traveling. For her, the main problem is that she misses her family on long trips. To become a truck driver, you have to be over 18. And of course, you need to have a driving license. Now, let's talk to Mary about her job. Yes, could you please tell me six facts about the recording? So it's a talk about the uh, usual job. It's a talk about the 10% women in a truck driver. So it's talk about uh, Mary Jones. is 22 years old and she has become a hairdresser. Uh, so, but now he deliver food in a uh, supermarket. So he work on 14 hours in a day. Uh, so he uh, prefer to driving and like to traveling and always we like to traveling to missing with family, missing with a uh, missing of a family. So we we need to take a driving. So over eighteen, we need to driving license to drive to truck. So this is all about things in talk about. Very beautiful, but Mary is a she. It's a female. Okay, so he and she needs to be taken care. All right. Uh, so okay. Could you please tell me that uh, how old is Mary Jones? It's twenty-two years old. She is. She is twenty-two years old. What do transport companies want to do? Uh, transport com uh, is Mary Jones uh deliver food and supermarket. Okay, what do transport companies want to do? Transport companies want to employ more women. Okay? Okay, employ more for women. All right, good job. And how yes. many hours does Mary sometimes work in a day? 14 hours in a day. Congratulations, you passed your listening with a merit. Okay, brilliant.